hello guys how are you all welcome to my channel the medical world today i, I come with a new topic the medical abbreviations you need to know in the medical school so these abbreviations are very important that when you are going to the medical school or in the nursing school if you memorize this term then it would be very beneficial for you so let's learn these medical terms in detail so now we are going to learn the common abbreviations in detail and its meaning. So the very first is A, B, D, which means the abdomen. You can find these terms mostly in the doctor's file or the nursing care plan. And it is, and it is always written in the small letters don't confuse with the capital letters that means the another second abbreviation is the ac that is before meals it is usually used in the nursing care plans or the nutritional uh, file where the client's nutrition is planned so next is the PC that is after meals so these two terms relate with each other how we can learn it a comes before p so a will will af a will be before meals and p will be after meals by this method you can learn these terms because there might be so much medical terms so next is the ADL. It is in the capital letters, which means activities of daily living. It is mostly written in the nursing care plans and activities of daily living is the common word of PSW and nurses. And next is the Ad lib, which means as desired. Next is AM, or it can be by capital letter or small letter, which means morning. We all know when there is morning time, we say it's. Um, 12 a.m. 9 a.m. so a.m. means morning and p.m. same is evening so the next is b.i.d. it's in the small letters which means twice a day it can be in the case of medicines in the case of meals, in the fluids, it depends upon how much you have to take. Next is BM. It can be in the capital letters as well as the small letter which means bowel movements. BP we all know which is the blood pressure the normal range of blood pressure of a human being is 120 by 80 usually in the files in the hospitals uh, they will talk, uh, say the BP and next is CA it is the common abbreviations used for the cancer which can we all know the cancers can be of many types. Uh, varies, uh, varies from the... So the next is, will be cath. In the medical file, so the care plan, the, f the full spellings of catheter are not written. So they will use the cath. Usually they are abbreviated as cath. 
so cbc we all know this term is usually in the blood reports so blood complete blood count it is usually done when the patient is having any type of infection so it's very important that time so co when the patient complains of any pain or discomfort in the flow sheets uh, the term of c slash o is written with the complaint of the client then is co2 we all know it's carbon dioxide next is cpr in the capital that is the cardio pulmonary recitation next is dc this is the common abbreviation which is used in the case of discharge of or discontinue of any fluids or any medication next is the dx axis at the foot of the d which is the diagnose whenever we open any file this is the first thing we will see over there which means the diagnosis ecg we all have got have the experience of ecg but most of us do not know the meaning of that so ecg means electro cardiogram so next one is the meds medication so next is stat at once or immediately this term is usually used when the patient is in emergency or have any sudden medical condition so in this case the the next term is pre-op that is perioperative next is prep which is used when the per uh, the patient is prepared for any type of surgery next is prn i know these terms are little confusing uh, some are in capital letter and some are in small letters so you have to remember these terms prn which means when necessary it is usually for some kinds of nutrition or medications which are only given when the patient is having any emergency condition next is pt you will uh, you will usually found this term in the rehab in the rehabilitation page pt means physiotherapist and next is q h it is also in the small letter which means every year next is q h s every night at home every uh, night at bedtime next is rbc red blood count rlq right lower quadrant La right lower quadrant is the part of the stomach 
R O M R O M uh, this term is usually seen on rehabilitation page which is the range of motion exercise these are the exercise which are uh, which are usually done to the client for the complete range of motion of full body so s is without and c with dash above is with so these can be confusing sometimes so t i d is twice a day so firstly in the firstly earlier we have learned about b i d which means twice a day and t i d means twice a day t s p means teaspoon and the last one which is the most important one is the t p r which are the basics of anything temperature pressure sorry i hope you enjoy this video if you have any queries about the medical abbreviations you can ask me in the comment section thank you for watching i hope you will find it informative thank you